Good morning. It's Ash Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Gather All the People. And our scripture is Joel, chapter 2, where the prophet writes, The Lord says, Turn to me now while there is time. Give me your hearts. Come with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Don't tear your clothing in grief, but tear your hearts instead. Return to the Lord your God, for he is merciful and compassionate, slow to get angry, and filled with unfailing love. He is eager to relent and not punish. Who knows? Perhaps he will give you a reprieve, sending you a blessing instead of this curse. Perhaps you will be able to offer grain and wine to the Lord your God as before. Blow the ram's horn in Jerusalem. Announce a time of fasting. Call the people together for a solemn meeting. Gather all the people, the elders, the children, and even the babies. Call the bridegroom from his quarters and the bride from her private room. Let the priests who minister in the Lord's presence stand and weep between the entry room to the temple and the altar. Let them pray, Spare your people, Lord. Don't let your special possession become an object of mockery. Don't let them become a joke for unbelieving foreigners who will say, Has the God of Israel left them? The prophet pours out that which God had poured into him. Sound the alarm. Blow the trumpets. Tell everyone you know and those you don't know. God was calling for a gathering of all the people, and the message was too important to miss. And when the people came, this is what God had to say. Then after doing all those things, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your old men will dream dreams, and your young men will see visions. In those days I will pour out my spirit even on servants, men and women alike, and I will cause wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and columns of smoke. The sun will become dark, and the moon will turn blood red before that great and terrible day of the Lord arrives. But everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For some on Mount Zion in Jerusalem will escape, just as the Lord has said. These will be among the survivors whom the Lord has called. Today is Ash Wednesday. The calendar says it's time to go get a little thumbprint of ashes and oil on your forehead. Some places are offering a drive through service, McAshes King. No waiting for the flame-broiled religion burger. No kneeling, hand-sanitized, gluten-free, charred remains of the day. Open your car window for a three-second, deeply meaningful grab of God. Then get to your 18-hour-a-day job to take care of real life. Hmm. That's a bit much cynicism and sarcastic exaggeration, but sometimes I wonder just how easy we can make things for ourselves, even dumbing down repentance to a Methodist light dosage. God says, give me your hearts. That takes a bit more than hoping the line at church won't be long enough to make you late for work or tennis or drink with the girls. Down to business. That little bit of ashes is an announcement to all who see you today. Does it say, I've been an obedient church member? Or does it announce what the prophet was aiming at? I'm a sinner. I repented, and God forgave every bit of it. He promised to wash it all away, and I'm forgiven. For you today, if it's just a little dirt on your brow, skip it. That's just surface anyway. God is inviting the deeper version of you to connect. Submitting to the ashes is surface. Repentance begins deep down inside. That's where the spirit dwells. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.